Hey, Lise here with The Colored Umbrella. I am so excited for today's tutorial. Today we are going to be making a rainbow marble tumbler. This is such a fun, pretty tumbler that I cannot wait to share with you. Now these tumblers are so pretty and they can look a little bit on the intimidating side. So if you've never made one before, you probably know what I'm talking about where you see it and think, oh my gosh, I cannot make that. But I will say, these are honestly one of the easiest tumblers that you can make. They are very difficult to mess up. And if you do on the off chance mess up, they are so simple and easy to fix. This isn't the one that we're going to be making today, but I just wanted to show you an example of what we will be doing. Something I love about these is you can do any colors, glitters, chunky glitters, fine glitters, no glitter. Like there's just so many different options and different ways that you can make these cups. So I'm going to be showing you step-by-step step everything that you need to do, everything that you need to have to make yourself a beautiful marble tumbler. But with that, let's get to it. So first off, let's talk about our supplies. What do you need to make a marble tumbler? Obviously you need your tumbler. You can either use a stainless steel tumbler, a sublimation tumbler will work. I actually really like using sublimation ones because they're already white, so I don't really have to paint or prep it. So those are really nice to have as well. Also, you of course need your glitter. For this cup, I am going to be using five different glitters. These are actually all from Gold Glitter. They are all fine mixes. Like I said before, you can use fine, medium, chunky, really whatever your heart desires. For this cup though, I'm kind of just going for more of a subtle look. So I, was, I just wanted to do all fine. And of course we're doing all of these pretty uh, pastel rainbowy colors. And of course we obviously need our resin. I'm gonna be using Turbo for applying my glitter and then we'll be using uh, fast set for other layers and finishing our tumbler off with some artist resin, all from counterculture. Which if you are gonna buy from counterculture, don't forget I do have a discount code for you. So make sure you check that out. I also have a code for you all for gold glitter. So you can save on all of that good stuff. Then we of course are going to need some mica powders and some alcohol inks. And of course you need your PPE, our personal protective equipment. So we're gonna be using gloves, our respirator mask, um, having some isopropyl alcohol and paper towels on hand. Uh, you also are going to want to make sure you have a mixing cup and something to mix your epoxy and your um, micas or your alcohol inks. But we'll get to that once we're at that point and you'll see what we need. But for the first part, you're just going to need your glitter, tumbler, resin. If you're using a white sublimation cup, then you don't need to worry about this. But since we're using a stainless steel tumbler, we are going to be painting our cup. So I did already prep my tumbler. To prep it, I did just sand it. Um, you don't need to go crazy with it. Just kind of rough up that surface so that we have something for our paint to adhere to. I only sand my tumblers when I'm going to be painting them. So if you're just going to be resining straight on there, if you would like to sand it, you can, but it's definitely not like a requirement. Personal preference with that. So since I'm going to be painting this one though, I did go ahead and sand it. So we've got all of our supplies. So let's start making our tumbler, but I wanna give you a better view. So let's get a closer look. So my tumbler is all prepped. Like I said, I have it sanded and my surface is ready to be painted. I'm gonna be using some pure white paint from Pop of Color. I get this at Counter Culture. I like to use either a flat bristle brush or a makeup brush also works great. Uh, one thing that is really important when you are painting your tumblers is you want to make sure you have a good amount of paint on your cup. That way you can make sure you have good coverage. Now, depending on what color paint you are going to be using for your tumbler, uh, you can sometimes get away with just doing one coat, but there are some times where you might have to do a few coats of paint. Uh, with white, especially on the stainless steel surface, I am going to plan on doing two coats for this. Also, your glitter has a lot to do with it. If you are using a like a very chunky or a dark glitter, just something where you're going to get really good full coverage with that glitter, then you can sometimes get away with just doing one coat. 
uh, the glitter that I'm going to be using since it is fine and they are lighter colors. I definitely want to make sure I am doing two coats just so I can make sure I get the best coverage with my glitter. And then for the bottom, I'm just going to use the paint that I already have on the brush and paint that. Once I've gotten my entire tumbler covered, I want to go over it one more time. I'm not adding any paint to my brush, but I just want to make sure we don't have anything like these spots or those spots where I call them paint globbies. Um, we want to make sure we don't have any of those paint globbies on there. So I'm just going to go around my tumbler one more time just to make sure it's a nice even coat. That way I know that it's going to dry nice and evenly. But since I know that I am going to be doing two coats, I'm not as worried about that full coverage on there. Uh, I love pop of color paints though because you do get really good coverage. Like honestly, that's just one coat and I feel like that is pretty good coverage as just compared to other paints that I've used. Also your brush has a lot to do with it as well. Okay, and I'm just going to go over that bottom one more time and just make sure it's all good. And again, just really wanting to make sure I have a nice even coat with my paint and I don't have any thick spots because those if you have any spots where your paint is too thick then you are going to have those spots where they're not going to dry evenly or it's gonna when you apply your glitter it's gonna look darker in that area so that's why you just really want to make sure it's nice and even throughout. Now I am done with my first coat, so I can either allow this to air dry, or if you are like me and you are impatient, then I can actually take my little heat gun here and hit it with some heat and air and dry it quicker that way. Now, if you are gonna use the heat gun, just a quick little tip, make sure you're not just keeping it on one spot for too long. If you do that, you're gonna notice your paint starts to crack or it may bubble. So make sure you keep this moving constantly. That way you don't have any issues with your paint drying. So let's go ahead and get this dry. So once it's completely dry, then I can go in with my second coat of paint. Now you want to make sure it's completely dry because if it's not, if you have any spots where it's still wet paint, when you go in with your second coat, it's going to remove your first coat of paint. And if you've ever done that before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So definitely just make sure I, to run my hand over it, make sure I don't have any spots where... Um, it's coming off and it's nice and dry. So once I am at that stage where it is dry, I can go in with my brush. And just like I did with that first coat, we are gonna go around and do a nice even coat of paint. All right, so now that I've got a good white paint base on my tumbler and it's completely dry, I'm ready to go in with my epoxy. Now to apply our glitter, we're gonna be using the epoxy method. Uh, this is my favorite way to apply my glitter. I feel like you get the best coverage by using this technique. I also feel like doing the epoxy method cuts out a lot of the steps as far as like having to seal your glitter or having like movement or having some areas where it doesn't stick to the paint good. So overall, that's my preferred method. If you prefer a different method like Mod Podge or applying it to your paint, then you can definitely do that. But for this video, I'm gonna be doing the epoxy method. So I've got my mixing cup. I've got, I'm just gonna be using a popsicle stick. Since normally I don't like using this because wood can cause bubbles, but since we're putting our glitter over it anyway, we're just gonna be using this. I've got gloves. I also have my respirator mask and wanna make sure we are nice and protected and safe while we are applying this glitter and our epoxy. So for applying my resin, I'm gonna be using some Facet Turbo. 
this is an amazing product from Counterculture. It's cured to the touch in about 20 minutes and then it's fully 100% cured in one hour. Now normally with the epoxy method you want to do a very thin coat of resin uh, to apply your glitter but since we're going to be applying lots of different colors of glitter I actually like to do some extra resin. So we're going to double the amount that we normally would put on there. All right, but it's time to put on my mask so I can be nice and safe. So uh, let's go ahead and put some of our epoxy on our tumbler. All right, so now that we've got our epoxy resin on our tumbler, it's time to do our glitter. I'm gonna place a piece of paper under there and I'm just gonna take one color at a time. And I am just going to let the tumbler do the work for me and run down the tumbler at an angle. And once that's done, we are just going to do that same thing with all of our other colors. So we have our glitter on our tumbler. So now we're gonna go ahead and let our epoxy resin set. And then once that's set, then we can go in with our thick coat. We're gonna be using artist resin for our next coat. We don't wanna use any type of fast setting epoxy for the next coats. So we're just gonna let this spin and then we'll I'll see you at the next step. So our tumbler is all glitter and my resin is set. So we are now ready to move on to our next step, which is applying a nice thick coat of resin. I'm gonna be using some artist resin from Counterculture. I love fast setting epoxies. That's what I use 99% of the time. But for these tumblers, we want some nice movement and I don't want my resin to cure too quickly. So we wanna make sure we're just using a standard resin and I absolutely love artist resin. You could also use a medium viscosity um, as well if you're wanting a lot of movement because the medium viscosity resins are a lot thinner. I've also got four mixing cups as well as some stir sticks. I'm also gonna be using some dispersion colors. I've got Easter morning, which is this beautiful light pink color and white snow, which is a pretty white color. And don't worry, I will be linking every single thing that I use down below. I also want to add a little bit of gold in there. So I'm gonna be using some flax and gold mica powder. And these can all be found at Counterculture's website. One of our cups is going to be just our resin. So that'll be clear. Another one for the white, another one for the pink, and then one for the gold. Uh, we're going to start by putting a nice thick coat of just clear resin on there. Uh, and then from there, we're going to mix in our other colors. But let me give you a closer look so you can see exactly what we're doing. Right. So just as a reminder, we're wanting to do a nice thick coat of resin for this. So I am going to be mixing more than you normally would for your tumbler. Also, I'm going to be taking some of these and putting them into the other cups so that we can do the colors with them. So for this cup, we're gonna be doing about 20 milliliters. So I have 10 milliliters of my part A, and now we're gonna be doing 10 milliliters of our part B. And since this is a top coat, I am gonna be using a metal stir stick just so I do not create a bunch of bubbles. Once this is mixed, then I'm going to divide it into three cups and add the colors. But I'm gonna go ahead and put my mask on and get this mixed up. Sorry, I'm gonna sound like I am Darth Vader for the rest of this part right here because I gotta keep my mask on. 
So I've got my resin all mixed here. And like I said before, I've got my three cups right here. And I want to go ahead and divide them up. So my white is going to be... I don't know if there's really necessarily like a certain amount that I'm putting in each of these, but I'm just going to do a little bit. The gold, I'm just doing a tiny bit. Same with my white. So as you can see from these, I'm really not going to be putting like a ton in there. So now I'm going to take, before I get my gloves all crazy. I'm just going to take and put a little bit of the dispersion color in that one. I want my main color to be white. And then I'm going to put some pink, just a couple drops. You don't have to go too crazy. These are very pigmented, so they work really well. And then the gold, I'm actually just going to take my little popsicle stick here, put some on there and pour that in there. Mix that up. Take another popsicle stick. Mix that up. And as you can see, I just really wanted a very light pink color. And then our white. So as you can see, a few drops really does go very far. And then I'm going to put those to the side for now. And then we're going to take this resin here. And now we're going to go ahead and epoxy our tumbler. While I'm resining this, I did just want to let you know that as I was applying my epoxy, I did realize that I did not add enough on there. So I actually ended up mixing an extra 10 milliliters. So I did 30 milliliters total. So once I have my good coat of resin on there, I'm going to go in with my white and we're just going to randomly put it on there. And I like to try not to do like a straight line and I don't want to use all of my white. So I'm going to save some of that. Next, I'm going to go in with my pink, do that same thing. I can even put some of my pink on the white spots. But again, I'm going to save some of that pink, just a little bit though. And then I've got my gold. Now remember, gold likes to take over. So we are just doing little tiny spots with our gold. And don't forget your bottom. Okay, now I'm going to let this spin around just a little bit just to kind of give it some movement. Kind of stop it, switch directions, just so we can get some different movement with it. Stop it, switch it around again. Now you can do this part with a popsicle stick or you can get a silicone brush, but now we're just going to take it and kind of brush it. I like to just kind of use my hand. I feel like I have more control of it. And I'm lightly, I'm not really putting any pressure on it. I'm just lightly kind of pulling those spots. I'm just kind of going at an angle. And then from here, remember we still got some of our white, which I want white is going to be the main color that we're using. So I'm just going to go, go in with that white. And I'm mostly going where I have the gold because I really want my gold to be subtle. So I'm just kind of covering that. And again, 
going deeper. Don't forget my bottom. Now these are totally like a uh, trust the process kind of tumblers. So trust your process, okay? All right. And then I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit of my feet, kind of filling in some spots where I want that pink to show up, okay? And then again, just kind of taking my hand, kind of scraping that just a little bit, just so I can make sure I don't have any harsh lines. And again, this looks not good right now. I just want to point that out. So again, trust the process, okay? And then if you have any spots where you're kind of feeling like, oh no, I've, I've got too much on there. Just take your resin that you have, that, that clear resin, and you can just kind of apply it on there those spots and then that's just going to kind of help break those up you don't want to do too much resin though because you don't want a lumpy tumbler but okay so there's that all right so i'm going to let this spin for just a few minutes and i'm going to grab my heat gun before i go in with my heat gun i am just going to take my torch and we are going to run over it just so we can pop any bubbles. Now your heat gun can kind of help with popping the bubbles, but it's not gonna be hot enough to really pop them. So I like just to go on with my torch, just so I can get those bubbles popped. Now, since I've gone over with my torch, I have heated up my resin, so it is thinned out already. So now when I take my heat gun, I'm just gonna run it. And I'm mainly wanting to break up those dark spots like where my um like where that gold is. Okay, and then if you see some spots where it's kinda going weird, again just take your glove and kinda move those around with your hand if you want it to go a certain direction but now we're just going to let her spin and i'm going to change directions because by changing directions you're going to help it start to kind of get some different movement so we're just going to let this spin for a couple hours and then in a few hours we can kind of see what it's going to be like and go from there now at this point while it's spinning if you would like to go in and add some extra glitter you can like for example i have some of this glitter right here the girl's best friend so if you would like i can you can just kind of take it now your epoxy is still kind of moving around so wherever you put this isn't necessarily where it's going to end up but it's just kind of a nice little way to give it a little bit of extra sparkle and i don't like going too crazy so we're just going to add a little bit in there all right so now we're just going to let this spin and uh, we'll come back in a couple hours and see what it looks like. It's not fully cured where I can touch it yet, but I it's cured enough where we've stopped getting some movement. Uh, so now at this point, I can just go in with my finishing coats of resin. If I have any spots that need to be sanded, I'll go ahead and sand in between coats, of course, where I just used fine glitter. I don't really have any spots that are chunky, but on clean up your rim and all of that. So I do have some videos on how to clean the rim of your tumbler so you can check those out if you need it. But I hope that this helped and that you feel more confident and excited and ready to tackle a marble galaxy Milky Way tumbler. I feel like they're all kind of pretty much the same thing. So um, if you have any questions, 
please just let me know. But I hope you have the best day ever and happy Tumblr making. Bye. In true Lisa fashion, I actually totally forgot to hit record on this last part. So I was looking at my Tumblr and I like it. I think it's really pretty, but I felt like it was missing purple. So I actually ended up mixing some more resin uh, when I did, I just kind of did a lighter coat of epoxy and then I ended up taking some like a light lavender purple dispersion color and mixed it with some of the white dispersion color to make a really light purple color. It's kind of more pastel-y and I did a little bit more white and then I added it to the tumbler. I also did a little bit of like some sky blue and I added it to the cup. This is right after I put it on there. So again, this does not look the best right now because it needs to move and I'm going to hit it a little bit more with my heat gun. So I'm going to let this spin for a little bit and then I think I will be more where I'm liking the tumbler. So I will show you and keep you updated as far as what my finished looks like. But I'm so sorry. I totally forgot to hit record. All right. I would like to apologize in advance. I've been very sick this week. I am wearing a nightgown, but uh, let's be honest, even when I'm not sick, I'm probably wearing a nightgown. But yeah, anyway, I wanted to make sure I got this tutorial out and that I showed you the finished product and what the tumbler looked like. So here she is. I really like it so much. Um, I might have added a little too much blue and a little bit too much purple, but I actually, or maybe I didn't. I actually really like it. I'm happy with it. I feel like all of the colors of the glitter that I put on there, they really do show through really good. Um, but yeah, there it is. It's so pretty. So um, just keep in mind that as you're making these cups, if you do a layer and you don't like it, you can add to it like I did. So, I mean, it, it was totally fine before. I didn't hate it. It would have been fine if I left it the way that it was, but I just, I really wanted like that pastel rainbow and I totally just, I didn't have purple glitter on there and I just really felt like it was missing that purple. So I'm happy that I added that purple and I feel like it just really kind of elevated it and took it to the next level. Um, I can leave this, I can add a decal. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. What do you think? Should I add a decal? Should I just leave it plain? Um, yeah, I don't know. Also, just a side note, if you ever make one of these and you absolutely think, oh, this is a disaster and you hate it, peekaboo tumblers. These are great for peekaboo tumblers, just so you know. So, um, but these are really not hard to do at all. They're really easy. Um, and again, if there's ever something that you don't like, you can just kind of keep adding to it. It's kind of like an oil painting. You just keep adding layers. So it's really nice. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm happy with it. I like it better now. So, um, yeah, I think it's really good. Uh, if you have any questions on this tumbler at all, uh, or anything else, let me know. I know I already did like a little outro where I said bye and let me know if you have any questions, but this is take two for that. Since I changed my cup, I wanted to make sure I showed it to you. And again, I apologize. I did not record when I added the purple and the blue. I thought that I did, but ugh, that is life, right? Forgetting to hit record. Anyway, I hope you all have an amazing day. And if you make one of these tumblers, make sure you post it on the squad page so we can see it. Uh, but yeah, yay. Um, have a wonderful day. I am so sorry that I did not go live this week. Uh, so hopefully this tutorial will help with that, help kind of make that up to you, but, uh, have the best day ever and happy marble. I don't know. I, I feel like the marble galaxy Milky Way tumblers, they all kind of look the same. So happy Milky Way marble galaxy tumbler making. Bye. Bye.